breaking. Welcome to today's headlines. Ikweri Madu visits Unamdikanu. Says political solution over IPOP leaders release is still possible. Ikweri Madu visits Unamdikanu. Says political solution over IPOP leaders release is still possible. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. Former Deputy President of the Nigerian, Senator Ike Ikwerimadu, has said that he visited leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Unamdi Kanu, in the custody of the Department of State Services. Though he did not specify the date and time of his visit to Kanu, he said his visit was in line of seeking a political solution for the release of the IPOB leader. Equiri Madu said, he went in company with some Igbo leaders, like Deputy Minority Leader of the Senate, Eyi Naya Baribe, Secretary General, Oke Emuche, and Archbishop of Methodist Church of Nigeria and co and co chair Interfaith Dialogue Forum for Peace Bishop Sunday Unu Oa. He also reacted to President Muhammad Buhari remarks on Channel's television interview on Wednesday where he said Kano should defend himself in court. Speaking, is, speaking via his verified Facebook page on Saturday, Ikweri Madu said political solution in the North in the Nunam de Kano's matter is still very feasible. I also watch the channel's television interview and I don't think Mr. President wrote, wrote a political solution. In fact, I would have been surprised if he said he would just release Unam de Kano because there is independence of every arm of government, including the judiciary. There are procedures. I recall that it was recently exactly Mr. President's response when I had a delegation of the Southeast Caucus of the Senate to see him on the November Kanu issue in November 2016. But ultimately, we kept reaching out and dialoguing until we had a political solution which resulted in the judiciary granting Mazi Unamdikanu a bill because ultimately to every time will come to the judiciary because every arm of government is independent. So we will keep working on a political solution. Nevertheless, we will keep engaging the government just as we will continue to appeal to our youth and people to ensure the stability and prosperity of our region. I did lead a delegation to interface with the Kano and the authorities. We had useful conversations. We have equally made some requests and we are waiting for a feedback from the government to make progress. The usual I deliberately didn't want to make it public because it is quiet service we are rendering to Indigo and the nation but the DSS eventually 
made it public in one of their statements. Former Deputy President of the Nigerian Senate, Ike Ikwerimadu, has said that he visited leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Unamdi Kanu, in the custody of the Department of State Services. Though he did not specify the date and time of his visit to Kanu, he said his visit was in line of seeking political solution for the release of the IPOB leader. Ikwere Madu said he went in company with some Igbo leaders like Deputy Minority Leader of the Senate, Eyin Naya Abaribe, Secretary General Oki Emuche, and Archbishop of Methodist Church of Nigeria and Co-Chair Interfaith Dialogue Forum for Peace, Bishop Sunday Onuhoha. He was also reacted to President Muhammad Buhari's remark on Channel's television interview on Wednesday, where he said Kano should defend himself in court. Speaking via his verified Facebook page on Saturday, Ikwere Madu said, Political solution to the, to the Unamde Kano's matter is still very feasible. I also watched the channel's television interview, and I don't think Mr. President ruled out a political solution. In fact, I would have been surprised if he said he should just release Unamdikanu because there is independence of every arm of government, including the judiciary. There are procedures. Finally, to my dear listeners. Now I've come to the end.